it's Jennifer, and first of all, I'm super sick, which is why I sound like a man. Second of all, I'm really excited about this video because I'm going to be making aesthetic DIYs, aka aesthetically pleasing DIYs, aka DIYs that are just really satisfying to look at and make for your viewing pleasure. So I hope you guys like this video because I'm so excited about these DIYs. I also partnered up with Hubert's Lemonade for this video. Yes, this video is sponsored. I've been drinking this drink for so long and when they reached out I was like, <laughs> yes. So if you guys love lemonade or this video as much as I do, let me know in the comments. <laughs> but without further ado, let's get started. So the first aesthetic DIY that I'm showing you guys is this layered ombre drink. I am trying to control myself. I'm trying to calm my camels because my insides are screaming because of how beautiful this drink is. And it's actually super simple to make. And this was inspired by a bunch of cool pictures on Pinterest as well as Chris Soup on YouTube. So first off, you're going to need some dried butterfly pea tea leaves or flowers. And these are what is going to give that blue color. So what I'm gonna do is take a couple spoons spoonfuls of that and put it into this glass Pyrex cup just so I can pour it easier later and then I'm pouring hot water on top of that and kind of soaking the flowers in the water so that all the pigment bleeds out and I'm gonna let that soak for about two to three minutes until I've gotten all of the pigment out and once that's done, you can go ahead and remove the leaves. I didn't have like a tea strainer, so I just had to use a spoon. Next, you're going to need some lemonade. And of course, I'm using Hubert's lemonade because I am obsessed. This tastes amazing. And also, I feel like this looks really aesthetically pleasing for some reason. Maybe it's like the glass bottle, but I just felt like this drink fit perfectly into this video. It just looks so nice, very Instagram-y. So if you can't already tell, I think this drink tastes amazing. <laughs> and here's a little clip of me struggling to open this bottle. <laughs> I can't open it. Oh my gosh. I literally can't open it. If that's not evidence that I need to go to the gym, I don't know what is. They also have a bunch of flavors to choose from, so for this project, I actually chose the plain lemonade, but you can also choose their like watermelon flavored one or like lime. They have a bunch of flavors, and depending on what type of ombre or what colors you want in your ombre, you can choose a different flavor of lemonade. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my lemonade and pouring that into a mason jar half of the way up. I'm adding some ice cubes, and then I'm slowly gonna pour in my butterfly PT. I added in the ice cubes just so that it would kind of separate between the two layers and so even if I did pour quickly it would kind of stop them from blending. I don't know about you guys but my insides are freaking screaming right now. This is just so aesthetically pleasing to look at and I'm obsessed. I don't know it's just so cool. All right, now I'm gonna try again using the Hubert's Lemonade glass because I wanted to see how it would look in a taller and skinnier glass. So I drank half the lemonade and put in some ice cubes and then did the same thing by pouring my Butterfly PT in there. And you can see that it blends so cool in the middle. It's like purple and then towards the top, it's like darker bluish purple. And I actually made the mistake of adding in water at the end because I thought it would make the blue kind of like a lighter blue, but it actually just turned it more purple, but it doesn't matter it still looks amazing. I like literally didn't drink them for like two hours because I kept looking at them and taking pictures of them. Yeah, it's actually super simple to make. So if you do recreate this, make sure to let me know. Send me some pictures on Twitter or Instagram at Generation DIY. Also, if you hold it under the light, it looks so cool. This was right after I made it. You can see there's like three layers. The bottom layer is the lemonade, and then it's like a purple layer that's blended between the two, and then the top layer is blue. After a couple hours, once I started drinking it, I actually put a straw in, and this is why it looks more blended and not as blue on the top, but I think it still looks beautiful. So it actually stays separated as long as you don't mix it. And yeah, take a bunch of Instagram pictures, have fun with it. Thank you. 
So this next aesthetically pleasing DIY is this clear botanical soap. And you guys, I was not kidding when I said in my past few videos that I was obsessed with making soap. So here I am making another soap DIY. So what I did was I took some clear soap base and then I just chopped that all up. I put in about, how many is this? Like 20 or so cubes. Y'all, this is super satisfying to do. Slicing soap is just so soothing and I love it. <laughs> so I just put them all into this bowl and I put it in the microwave for 30 seconds, but then you wanna put it back in for 10 more seconds. While that was melting, I took my soap mold and I also took some leaves and plants that I found from nature outside. What, Jennifer went outside? Yes, for once. And I just placed those petals and leaves into the molds. Once my soap was melted, I took some soap fragrance oil and and this one was cucumber melon. I put in a couple drops and then I mix that up and then just pour that into my molds. And your leaves and petals may move around a bit. Don't worry though, you can totally just move them back with like a spoon or something like that. And then you wanna spray them all with some rubbing alcohol just to pop the bubbles. And I'm gonna let those set for a couple hours or if you're impatient like me, I put them into the fridge. And once they're done, this is what they look like. And tell me these are not aesthetically pleasing. Tell me. I think I just really like clear, like translucent things for some reason. To me, they just look so nice and beautiful and I really like these soaps. And I feel like these soaps would look really cool in your bathroom, just sitting there, a little piece of nature in your bathroom and yeah. So the last aesthetically pleasing DIY is this rainbow avalanche slime and I've seen this all over Instagram and I wanted to recreate it. There weren't any instructions but I kind of figured it out myself by like mixing tutorials and I'd say I actually did a pretty good and successful job. I would even go one step further and say that the 10 year old slime experts would be proud of me so I'm proud of me too. So I didn't actually use any exact measurements but I poured a full bottle of this clear school glue into this plastic cup and then I took some contact solution and I kind of just squirted some in there again no real measurements but I started mixing that up and then I actually put some baking soda in there and that just kind of made it solidify and more like a slime rather than a liquid the baking soda combined with the contact solution is what makes the slime kind of consistency so I kept adding in baking soda and contact solution until I had the texture that I wanted so once it stops sticking to the sides, you can take it out of the, the container and kind of mush it around with your hands, play with it until you feel like it's the right texture. And then I'm gonna split this up into three little balls of slime and I'm gonna color each of them a different color. So the first one I colored pink using some food coloring and I actually used neon food colorings. If you don't have neon ones, I would totally go for it. I actually would have preferred them if they weren't neon, but yeah, I just mixed the food coloring into the slime by kind of stretching it and stuff and I did three different colors pink blue and yellow now I'm gonna take another plastic container and I'm gonna put all three of those slimes in and then moving on to the white slime so I'm just using this white school glue I use a full bottle and then again I put in the contact solution and also some baking soda and I mix that all up and I kept adding the contact solution and baking soda until I had the consistency that I wanted and now I'm just going going to play with that with my hands and then put it on top of the colored slimes that we just made. And then you want to put the lid on so that it's airtight and you want to leave that depending on how avalanche you want it. You can leave it for a couple hours or a couple days. I left this for about 24 hours and this is what it turned out like. And Guys, I am obsessed. I just think it looks so cool, especially with the rainbow. Whoever came up with this method, props to you because you are a genius. So now enjoy some aesthetically pleasing shots of the slime and also some slime action.
Again, thank you so much to Hubert's Lemonade for sponsoring this video. And shout out to Just a Super Fangirl on Instagram. I will see you guys next time. Bye!